also be Alice Poplin's Cracking It's D, about to react to this vid by Salem. It's titled, The Hispanic Influencer Community is Becoming Toxic. Oop. Okay, a couple people have asked me to check this out, so why not? You know, I always react to the black community being toxic. <laughs> but let's talk about, you know, everybody. This is equal opportunity over here. Let's see how everybody is down bad. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, yes, we're, we're going to get, you know, other insights. It's always uh, interesting to hear, you know, everybody's experience. So let's hear what she has to say. Let's watch. I didn't know it was a controversial take to tell Latinos to finish high school. I didn't graduate high school. You did I'm it. a super senior. Yeah, I didn't graduate high school. Because my senior year, I probably only went like three times. It's because I, I play smart. Ah, look. <laughs> A lot of people sure. say they want to quit the 9 to 5 and have a, a, a freelancing lifestyle, but bro, this is way worse than a 9 to 5. A TikToker named Juju is being called out for I'm laughing at a it. street vendor that was just trying to sell her candy. What? Bro. I know. Four dollars? Okay, Disney. Everyone wants a Latina. Everyone wants to be with a Latina. A big blue Latina, a spicy Latina, a toxica, like all this shit. It's all of these stereotypical versions of what a Latina looks like, and it's not actually considering who these people are as people. And the cycle of over-sexualization, over continues. Where is the representation? Where is the substance? There is none. The fact is, most of them just happen to be Hispanic, and that's it. Instead, they go live on TikTok talking about drama. The only time I get major views and go viral is when I'm talking about drama or something dumb. But the moment I talk about business or something like that, the views tank. It's frustrating for community activists and organizers who are actually trying to do cool things. That's just what people want to see, honestly. And, you know, it is what it is. You know, people have even made comments uh, here and there about my content. Like, oh, you've been reacting to, like, a lot of drama and stuff. This is what people are asking for. This is what y'all are asking for. If you want to see positive videos, then request them. <laughs> but I literally never get them. And even if I do get them here and there, sometimes I'll look it up and it's just something super stupid. Like, <laughs> then I'm like, okay, nobody's going to want, want to watch this. But, you know, it's like, this is just the nature of the world. People like watching toxic shit. It's unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. They want to watch funny stuff and toxic stuff. So. But y'all are too busy worried about Shadi Bay and Wizito. Like, I'm not a cheater. I don't cheat. I mean, they cheat on me. Like, dead ass. Uh, what? Hey, not the, it's me, Sam. Not Come the dead ass. The channel. I have something to tell you. The Hispanic influencer community is a mess. Oh, I hate when people do this ASMR. stuff. Hello, everybody. It is me, Sila. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure she's doing it to be funny, and this is a part of her, her, you know, intro. Because I've watched another video from her. So, not her in particular, but people actually do this, like, for their content. Like, they try to incorporate. Like, I've been watching vlogs here and there where some of the girls are trying to do it. It's like, girls, just stop. You're thinking, let me, let me add ASMR to everything. No, no. If that's all you do, that's one thing. Because there are channels just dedicated to that and people seek that out. Then cool, do that. Make that your brand. But you trying to incorporate it randomly into your content. Like, stop. You look stupid. This is stupid. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. It's annoying as hell. This is one girl I watch who vlogs. Oh, she pisses me off. I skip through her video every time when she starts doing it. I got this product. <sighs> To my oh, yeah. shit. How are I'll you guys doing? I am feeling very excited because this week is the first week to Hispanic Heritage Month. Mi gente Latino. I truly love my culture, but really? JLo's not part of it. Anyways, um, oh. so for those of y'all who really haven't better? noticed, um, I'm brown. I know. But more specifically, I'm Mexican, which I feel like should be pretty obvious because unfortunately, I give off the vibes that I make stereotypical Latina. When in reality, I'm on the spectrum, love hot miku and hate menudo. That alone, I feel like should get my Mexican card revoked. I'm Mexican, but I am not that Mexican to where I'm gonna eat lang wine brains. But yes, it is Hispanic Heritage Month, which is from September 15th all the way to October 15th. Giving gratitude and recognition to amazing Hispanic icons throughout history yeah. who have paved the way for the younger generations. I live in LA, it's a lot of Mexicans here. Music, food, invention. Listen. <laughs> I 
I, I love Mexicans down, okay? And so much more. Uh, People like Cesar Chavez, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Selena Quintanilla, Guillermo del Toro, Pitbull, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, El Chamo, Pedro Pascal. He said, Mommy, I'm depressed. Then I said, Don't do that. Do something else. Cesar Milan. I thought Pitbull was like Puerto Rican or something like that. He gave. And of course, Lin Manuel Miranda. We as Hispanics come from a long lineage of people who are artists, musicians, people to be celebrated. I wonder who is the next generation of artists, musicians, and great minds that will inspire the next young generations. Wait, guys, what if I travel with Eva's ID? Like, we have the same birthday, we have the same name, we have the same face. Do you guys think that'd work? I th definitely, I thought it was fun. I like the beat. So, yeah. uh, Nowadays, we have representations such as Lalo. Hey, man, what I tell you about stuff like this? I'm not your little gummy bear. <laughs> Stop! Decaying. You're kind of lucky I'm even talking to you right now. Usually, I pay people to talk to me. Did you didn't hear what he said? He said, usually I pay people to talk to me. <laughs> With a straight face. There is something wrong with the modern day Hispanic influencer community. And when I say that there's something wrong, I mean there's something really wrong. And I am not the only person who feels this way. Oh. Anyways, I'm glad someone said something and that this video is going viral because I don't understand how people like Will2 or Shadi Bay have a platform. They barely represent us. The most they can do is put a flag in their bio and that's it. What else do they do for us? And I don't expect most of them to be political activists because some of you are meant to be entertainers, not political activists. The fact is, some of them are second generation immigrants. Hell, some of them barely speak Spanish themselves. And mm. I'm not trying to shame them. Because I barely speak the language fluently myself. But how are these people supposed to represent us if they're barely in touch with their roots? Instead, they go live on TikTok talking about drama or fucking go to JOP's pool party just so they can make a video of him and get so fucking views. Where is the representation? Mm. Where is the substance? There is none. The fact is, most of them just happen to be Hispanic. And that's it. Because it actually irks my soul. I even have a pinned video about it on my page if... You, so you know that I'm about what I talk about. And people be like, well, why don't you post about the issue? Girl, I do. The only time I get major views and go viral is when I'm talking about drama or something dumb. But the moment I talk about business or something like that, the views tank. It's frustrating for community activists and organizers who are actually trying to do cool things, but y'all are too busy worried about Shadi Bay and Wilito. Like The influencers that we make famous in our community are... I need some bevala madre tea. You guys stress me the hell out. I'm not trying to be the Mexican version of Candace Owens. I'm not trying to drag our community down. There is so much good in our community, <laughs> but unfortunately, the people that we're making medicine? famous are contributing more <laughs> bad to the community. Wait. I mean, they in medicine though. What's the problem? Y'all don't like this? Two UCLA med student fools. <laughs> Maybe they feel like this is too... Uh, stereotypical that yeah okay i understand the people that we're making famous are contributing more bad to our community than good because unfortunately these are content creators and influencers who don't speak up for our community these are content creators and influencers who are promoting being uneducated being toxic or perpetuating negative stereotypes of hispanics in the u.s and look no hate to people like shoddy bay or the other people i mentioned in my video at the end of the day they are really fun Funny, and I truly love and want to support my people but it's really hard to when it seems our community is constantly making the same type of people popular which lacks in diversity and our current representation in this community that. is contributing heavily okay, so to the too. problems that we see in young Hispanics every day nowadays having low self-esteem not believing that they can become anything else other than a young parent or an influencer that eats hot Cheetos and dances to La Chona and honestly there's nothing 
nothing inherently wrong with being like that either i'm not gonna be up here and act like i'm better than y'all like i love me my red 40 some bad bunny and all of that however i don't make it my defining traits and it does get exhausting when our only representation Bye. is the same copy paste influencer time and time again whose only defining personality traits are those things like can we come up with something else can we come up with something else i know we can they're just not given the opportunity to be different because it seems like the definition of a proper hispanic influencer has to fall into one of these categories and honestly that sucks because our people and our culture are so much more than that and the worst part is that a lot of these content creators and influencers and followers will get mad and upset at you when you want to call this toxic behavior out i didn't know it was a controversial take to tell latinos to finish high school and i'm not going to apologize for telling people to finish high school because it's the bare minimum of what you should do I, but i shouldn't have to tell you guys that i was deported by association in order to validate that saying latinos should stay in school is not a bad take you're just being negative lighten up if you care that much about society representation then you're just too american you're just too white if you care about school like it's giving colonizer. You don't lost your damn mind. <laughs> when you get your damn mind, you call me. And this is exactly what I'm going to be talking about in today's video because it needs to be stopped. And I have a special guest later on in this video to talk about it with me. To give you guys some chisme, you know. So grab your pan dulce, sit down, and let's have a chisme sesh. But before that, y'all know the drill. I gotta pay my bill. Okay, y'all go for it. <laughs> What's she saying? What she's gonna talk about? Ain't we been talking about it? <laughs> I was born here, unfortunately. My dad is from Mexico City and my mom is from Michoacan. Oh, and I was Mexico born City. in San Jose. But then California hey. got way too expensive, so we moved to Washington and now I'm my in the rain so. all the time. So, yay. But you know what? I also live in the place where they filmed Coraline and Twilight, so it's a win-win. Growing up, I never felt Hispanic enough. And a big part of that is because I, well, I grew up in a cult, so I didn't really grow up around my culture. I grew up around what I call church culture. If you guys haven't watched my story, I highly recommend watching this video where I talk about my experience growing up. I wasn't allowed to watch novelas. I wasn't allowed to listen to Hispanic music. The only Hispanic oh. artists I was allowed to listen to were people who made Hispanic worship music, which to this day slaps. I'm talking Marco Sweet, Jesus Adrian Romero, Jackie Velasquez, and the icon himself, Juan Luis Guerra. And I definitely was not allowed to watch the news or anything like that which to be fair i don't even think i would watch it nowadays because yeah. why do you have to look and dress like this in order oh. to talk about how it's gonna rain yikes but slowly getting out of the church community and into the real world, I still didn't feel like I belonged. I remember this one time I posted on my Instagram story, this one trend that was popular on TikTok that was like, they hate when you serve neurodivergent baddie, and then it'll be like a bunch of characters that are supposedly a representation of that. I remember posting on my Instagram story something similar to that, but the prompt was, maybe in another universe, I'm not serving off-putting weird Latina or something along those lines. And the characters used in these slides were mm -hmm. people like Wednesday Adams, Aubrey Plaza in Parks and Recreation, or Rosa from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And I got so many DMs of people saying, girl, be so for real, you can't relate. When literally that has been my experience since I was born. But simply because I look this way, people assume that they just think that I listen to Peso Pluma, eat hot chip and lie, and charge phone. Which I mean, they're not wrong. I really do be eating hot chip and I do be lying to myself every day. Pretending that I'm happy when I'm not. <sighs> when it comes to representation, I feel like there just isn't enough diversity within our own community. There's a lot of people whose content is just straight up being a caricature of what I'm racist Americans sure. think Hispanics are, which is loud, uneducated, or almost like a clown. Like, they really do be acting like we should be sucking up in this hole. I remember growing up with people like Alanized, Louis Life, and all of these people who genuinely I to this day still enjoy. But I remember there was talk even back then of how a lot of these content creators kind of pushed 
the stereotypes but again there's nothing wrong with this there's literally nothing wrong with being just funny some people are meant to just be entertainers and be funny i love the fact that in our culture we are very happy people and we're even able to find joy and oh, happiness man, I used to watch in him. hard times and tough situations he was some drama and too that in the the movie, as people definitely show in our modern day hispanic influencers where everyone's very humorous however there has been a hyper focus there's so many similarities between black and mexican culture I mean, there's so many differences too, but... and never step outside of that stereotypical content not even to talk about serious issues in order to keep up the happy we're not so serious <laughs> not everything is that serious <laughs> laugh a little type of easygoing attitude and even though this type of attitude can be good unfortunately it's made it so content creators who are hispanic who do want to speak up on anything that isn't hot cheeto related or cheating related or drama related they're seen as the negative one okay i'm gonna leave her video down below you guys can check it out to hear more of her talking points i feel like she was repeating a lot of what she was saying though i got the gist of, of what she's trying to convey and i feel her because i feel this same way <laughs> in the black community there is a lot of toxicity and a lot of the really ghetto people who get like pushed and they get really popular um i can't get on tiktok without seeing uh kane you know she's always gluing her wigs and being super ghetto and ignorant on there and they've made her very popular because she does represent what the stereotype of black women is and you know people like seeing that because it reinforces what they already feel about you so it's like yeah this is how i think black people act so yeah i'm, I'm gonna follow her and laugh ha ha, ha. ghetto black girl ha, ha so it's like mm. and of course you have some people who relate to those influencers as well um so they feel like oh they're down to earth and they they're like girls from around the way da 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 and, and sure good for them if you feel like you can relate to that type of content but trust me there are a lot of people who are not watching them because they can relate they're watching them because they're laughing at them and they feel like they're a character you know so I, I do think that it's a tricky situation. But yes, I feel her 1,000%. And I love the Hispanic community, the Mexican community in particular. Because in LA, there are a lot of Mexicans here. My brother is also half Mexican. My dad, when him and my mom divorced, he went on to you know date this Mexican lady and they had a baby. It's just my little brother. He's no longer a baby. He's old now. <laughs> anyway, uh, interesting video though. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!